Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelt, hold on tight. You're in for one crazy and ethically cool ride tonight on the Josh Mullen Full Throttle Racing Show. Hashtag one on YouTube. With me, we have with us race car driver Jacob Peterson out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Welcome to the show, Jacob. Thank you. So, Jacob, let's talk about your racing career. Where did it all begin for you? Uh, what did you say? Where did it all begin for you, Jacob, with your racing career? How did you get into racing? Uh, so, my dad asked me, he said, He said, uh, <clears throat> hey, uh, watch this video. And I watched it. Uh, and he said, do you want to start racing those? And I said, yeah. So uh, he figured it out. Uh, we got on Redhead Racing. And then we uh, started my racing career. Okay, so Jacob, when you got behind the wheel of a race car for the first time, were you a little bit scared? Yeah. Yeah. So Jacob, okay. Okay, so when you started your racing career, what did you start out in? For, I started Bandoleros. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool. So Jacob, um, now that you're racing, you're still racing Bandoleros right now right? Yeah. Okay. So, Jacob, being you're racing Bandoleros right now, how much success have you had as a race car driver? How many wins do you have? Um, uh, haven't won yet. Second season, but at King Sport, I did get third, so. Very, very cool. Very cool. So, Jacob, let's talk about now, what are your goals going into this year with your racing career? Probably... Get my first win. Uh, get top fives, top threes, anything like that. Okay. So, Jacob, now let's talk about what is the story behind your race car number? Where did your race car number come from? Mm, what did you say again? Where did your race car number come from? Um. So, in the first year, Favorite driver is Kyle Busch, so I was 18, got from him. And now I'm the number eight since he switched, switched to the number eight. Okay. So. okay, 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 very cool. So, Jacob, um, let's talk now. Okay, as a race car driver, do you have a racing nickname? Yes, my dad calls me Tiger. Okay, very cool, very cool. Also, Jacob, Jacob, what is your five-year plan with racing? Where do you want to be at in five years with your racing career? So, uh, this is my second year. So, next in the next five years, probably next year, I'm going to race bandos, baby bandos again, try to get into legend cars, legend cars again, and then probably legend cars again until I start getting faster uh, and trying to build my way up into late ball, so. Well, Jacob, where do you want to be at in 10 years with your racing career then? Mm, what did you say again? Where do you want to be at in 10 years with your racing career? In 10 years? Okay. So, you already hear my five years, so legend cars, not uh, so legend cars, maybe again, then late models, late models, late models, late models, uh, probably late models again, and then I'll try to move up to Arca, can't do that, then I'll go late models, try it again, can't do that, late models, and then try it, if it works, Arca, and then Arca. Okay, so Jacob, who is your racing hero? Who is the race car driver you look up to? Kyle Busch. Okay, very cool, very cool. Have you ever met Kyle Busch, Jacob? 
No, but I do have uh, two of his die casts right next to me. So. Very cool, very cool. So, Jacob, now let's talk about your racing sponsors. Who sponsors your racing day? Uh, what did you say again? Who sponsors your race car? Sponsors. Who do you... I have so newest sponsor. I uh, love them, Scorpion Power Coating. Uh, near the rear of the car, you got advanced auto parts. Need oil, anything else, go there. Uh, for Scorpion Power Coating, need powder coating, go there. It'll get you power coating done. And also, Young's Body Shop, uh, any car damage. Image, go there, they'll get it fixed. Fort Mill, South Carolina. So, uh, yeah. So, are you still looking for sponsors, Jacob? Yes, I'm trying to get Lionel, which made all these that all these diecasts that are next to me right now. So, so Jacob, I would like to help you out, okay, a little bit. If there's anybody going to be out here watching this racing show with me and Jacob Peterson, and you would like to help him out with his racing career, feel free to reach out to Jacob, his dad, Robbie, and that racing team, because Jacob would appreciate the sponsors on Jacob's race car as he gets further into his racing career. Okay. So, Jacob, let's talk about now when you're at the racetrack, what's the worst thing you've had happen to you as a race car driver? Probably so. I was coming out of the corner at the miniway at Kingsport and, and Bandos. I took it a bit too low and I self spun. And then here comes the 55A. Um, he hits my front nose, destroys my car, destroys my front clip. Uh, so, uh, US Legend cars, they will do a new one on. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> So, well, Jacob, okay, when you're at the racetrack and you're getting ready to go on the racetrack, what do you do to help get yourself psyched up to go on the racetrack? Mm, what did you say again? When you're getting ready to go on the racetrack, what helps get you what helps get you focused to go on that racetrack? Probably this technique. So grab a piece of paper, right, and ball it off, right fear on it. Ball it up, and then while I'm in my race car, throw it out the window. Not like when okay. I'm on the racetrack driving. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So, Jacob, who do you have on your racing crew? Who works on your race car? Mm, uh, my dad. And uh, we get help from Stillwell. Uh, uh, so. Okay. So, Jacob, um, no, okay. With your racing career, when you're at the racetrack, what do you like to eat at the racetrack, Jacob? At the racetrack, uh, when we're at Charlotte Summer Shootout and Winter Heat, Charlotte Motor Speedway hot dogs love them. Okay, so Jacob, when you're away from the racetrack, what is your favorite restaurant to eat at? There's a lot. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Okay. Probably, I would say Pizza Hut or McDonald's. Okay. So, Jacob, when you're at home, then, what is your favorite home cooked meal that your mom and dad makes for you? Uh, so, my mom makes this, we call it super spaghetti. So, it's spaghetti, and once it gets in the water and stuff, it boils. Uh, it gets pretty long. So, and it has pieces of uh, hamburger meat in, in it with uh, sauce and uh, we eat that a lot. Okay. So, Jacob, um, when you're away from the racetrack, what do you like to do away from the racetrack? Pro mostly get on my uh, sim rig up stairs and play eye racing to practice okay very cool very cool very cool so jacob 
who are some of your friends at the racetrack? Probably my friends are uh, Jack Smith in the number nine, uh, Neil Dolan in the 79 Legend car, uh, Marty Roberts and Mason Roberts. Uh, uh, I would say Connor Morgan. Uh, can't think of any others. Okay. So Jacob, when you're when you're in school, what do your school friends think of you being a race car driver? Uh what did you say again? When you're in school, what do your school friends think of you being a race car driver? Probably they say like when I first said I'm going to be a race car driver, they were like, "No, that's fake." And then I, and then like they, they're, ah, uh, dad, seeing me on Facebook, like my friend Charlie Evans, he's on the same rig with me a lot. Uh, he saw we are in the same class together, and he, and his dad saw. He said, oh, no, we have a Kyle Busch fan because he saw my Facebook page. And then uh, I was wearing my hat outside and then I crossed by Charlie and said, what's up? And they said, what's up, Kyle Busch fan? So, okay. so Jacob, um, OK, um, let's talk now about OK, Jacob. Would, OK, if you had anything you'd like to say to the kid to help get him in a race car, what would what would what advice would you give them? Probably, if you ever have fear, all you have to do, just think of it. Think of it. Fear doesn't matter. Like the technique I said, right? Fear on a piece of paper, ball it up, throw it at your window in pits. So. Very cool. Very cool. So, Jacob, I'm going to turn the mic over to you now. You can ask me some questions if you want. Eh, not much. Uh, can't think of anything, so. Don't have any questions you want to ask me? Okay. So, Jacob, um, do you help work on your race car also? Yeah, so um, I have to get my car when my dad sets the chain so they can put chain lube on it. Like, so once... I get in the car, he sets my chain, I push, I one time push the car forward so they could put the chain lube on. Uh, uh, I put on the, uh, the, uh, goes on the bottom of the car. It shows my lap times, can't remember what it's called, but. Okay. Okay. So, Jacob, um, yeah, it's been my pleasure to sit here and talk to you a little bit about your racing career. Um, definitely, when you get further into your racing season, can I have you back on here again? Yes. Yes, yeah. Yes, but you, thank you very much, Jacob, for being on the racing show with me tonight, talking to us about your racing career. Do you have a Facebook page that the that racing fans can follow you on? Yes, it's called JP Motorsports on Facebook, so... Well, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you get a chance to follow JP Motorsports on Facebook because you'll find out a lot about Jacob and his racing career. Yeah, we post everything about my racing career. We show when summer shootout is. We show stuff about Nashville, which is in April that we're going to. Uh, so shows all the updates. So Okay. Very awesome, Jacob. But thank you very much, Jacob, for being on the racing show with me tonight. I will let you step out, and I will call you a little bit to thank you in person, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Jacob Peterson from Rock Hill, South Carolina. He races Bandolero cars down there. So, ladies and gentlemen, Go follow JP Motorsports on Facebook for all your racing updates with Jacob. Also, ladies and gentlemen, the racing news play. I'll tell you what, that NASCAR race last year is pretty crazy how that all ended up. Uh, but um, Tyler Reddick picked up the win there. So 
congratulations to Tyler Reddick uh, for winning that race last weekend. Um, but let's, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be racing at Richmond coming up this weekend. So good luck to all them guys there. Um, also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, David Gravel is doing a pretty awesome job behind the wheel of the Outlaw Sprinter uh, and the World of Outlaw Series, along with Brad Sweet and and uh, definitely uh, Logan Shuhart. Um, all them guys there got the racing seasons underway. And ladies and gentlemen, just good luck to everybody racing coming up. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'd, I'd like to thank all, uh, thank everybody for being a part of the racing show with me and talk and having them on the racing show talking about their racing careers. Um, if you'd like to be a part of my racing show or sponsor my racing show, feel free to email me at jjnolan151 at gmail.com, or you can call or text me at 712-209-7138. Um, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Manny and Motorsports and New England Hemophilia Association. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you have a good day. Catch you later on another episode of the Josh Nolan Sports Racing Show, hashtag one on YouTube. And keep living life at full throttle.